Mr. Matalon is currently the chairman of the ICD Group Limited and its subsidiary, British Caribbean Insurance Limited. He holds directorships on a number of other boards, including the Gleaner Company Limited, Scotia Group Limited, West Indies Home Contractors Limited, Wicon Properties Limited, Prime Asset Management, Matalon Homes Limited, the 23th Wing of the University Hospital of the West Indies, and National Integrity Action Limited. Mr. Matalon serves as Honorary Chairman of St. Patrick's Foundation, which supports charitable activities in inner city communities. He's Chairman of the Board of Governors of Hillel Academy in Kingston, Jamaica. He's a member of the Regional Investment Advisory Committee of the University of the West Indies and is a member of the Board of the United States-based International Youth Foundation. First and foremost, the existence of a pension plan is a, you know, a part of the overall uh, remuneration and benefits package that we offer to employees. Um, I happen to think that it's a very important part of that package. Um, I, I personally believe that one cannot start too early, um, you know, putting some resources away uh, against the time when in the future one will not be able to earn an income and that income becomes absolutely critical. Um, and uh, you know, there are so many cases uh, that I have become aware of over the years of individuals who uh, have worked for 30, 40 years uh, have not seen fit over that time to yeah. set aside reserves against uh, their retirement right. and who find themselves in a situation where having you know, provided service um, for a very long period of time yeah. simply cannot survive um, as, as pensioners. And so I, I think it's, it's, it's on the one hand an important benefit that one can include amongst the menu of benefits in order to attract and retain employees. And then I think, you know, more than that, on a, on a social level, um, and on an economic level uh, within, within the country, it is important that as a country, uh, we ensure that people are setting aside sufficient reserves to tide them through their twilight years. I would certainly recommend to any company with, you know, any sizable uh, workforce, you know, 15 or more, yeah, um, that they ought to consider uh, some kind of pension scheme. Uh, now, it does, depending on the type of scheme, that you implement, it, it does impose some administrative and fiduciary burdens on the company. Um, and very often, you know, that, that is, you know, in my experience, very much a part of the decision not to offer such a scheme. But, you know, short of actually formally setting up your own scheme, um, I think that it is possible uh, to encourage your staff, to, to provide them with, with the education, first of all, yeah. about the, the investment process and in particular pension saving, um, and to encourage them um, to establish their own approved retirement scheme independently. That would be a revolutionary move for Jamaica. Um, you know, I personally would not be uncomfortable with such a proposal at all, because bear in mind, you know, from a from a sort of sociological uh, perspective, that you know, to the extent that individuals are not required uh, to set aside funds to tide them through their yeah, twilight yeah, years, yeah. very often. Um, what will end up happening is that that responsibility will ultimately fall to the state. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, we all share in the burden of that equally as taxpayers. Yeah. 
so I think that there is some merit to uh, compulsory membership of some form of, of, of uh, pension scheme, whether independent or as a part of a, of a company scheme. Okay. Um, I do Pro properly applied um, and, and, and with the with the right oversight yeah. under those regulations. Um, the fact that uh, company pension schemes, for example, uh, must have elected employee uh, participants in the scheme and uh, represented on the board. Yeah. Um, Pensioners of the scheme must also be represented um, on the board of trustees. I think uh, that and a number of other regulatory uh, provisions that govern, for example, um, the overall approach to investment policy, I think, have provided an environment in which individuals are in a position to have a much greater level of trust yeah. in terms of uh, the probability that these funds are going to be properly uh, managed and that they are going to be able to provide the benefits that they have been promised. But my advice for those who have graduated and who are in the fortunate position where they have acquired a job, my advice to them would be that it is never too early for them to start thinking about the eventuality of their retirement. Huh? The, the sooner they start, mm -hmm. the less burdensome yes. um, you know, the, the fact of having to put aside this money in the future is going to be. Yeah. The earlier they start is the greater the sum they're going to be able to build up over time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously, those who have not been able to secure yeah. employment don't have an income and therefore are not in a position to set aside. Huh? Yeah. Um, you know, I am hopeful naturally that um, we're going to see a turn in our economy, a, a return to growth, um, and a return to growth that is accompanied by significant job creation. Um, so, you know, they may. Uh, miss out on one, two, three years of, of contributions. My advice to them would be, if that is the case, that once they do secure that employment, that they seek to be even more aggressive about what they're putting away for retirement for a period of time to compensate for that period when they were not contributing. Uh, very often, schemes allow what they call additional voluntary contributions mm -hmm. over and above the standard employer and employee contributions. And I would advise them to take advantage of those provisions. Um, those are tax relieved or tax deferred savings that they're being allowed to make. Yes. Um, and, you know, those AVCs can be used ultimately to increase the extent to which your pension is able to replace your income at, at final salary levels. Thank you, sir. Okay? Thank you very much. All right?